How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious things caught on camera. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Estate sales can be a great place to find some hidden treasures, but they can also be a bit creepy, especially when you stumble upon something like this. A Reddit user, whose account has since been deleted, shared a photo from a local estate sale that's left the internet buzzing with speculation. The photo shows a strange, grey, humanoid figure lurking in the background. It looks like it has chains and a collar wrapped around its arms and legs. According to the Redditor, the estate belonged to an elderly couple who had passed away, and this eerie snap was taken during the sale of their belongings. But what's even spookier is the backstory that the uploader shared. Apparently, there used to be a slave plantation in the area, leading many to wonder if this could be the lost soul of a slave attempting to escape their cruel master in a bygone era. Despite attempts to enhance the resolution of the photo, the uploader was unable to get a clearer image of the ghostly figure. And while they admit to being a bit skeptical of paranormal activity, they're not quite sure what to make of this haunting image. The internet is abuzz with speculation about the authenticity of the photo, with some claiming it's a fake, but others insist it's the real deal. Regardless of where you stand on the paranormal spectrum, there's no denying that this estate sale photo is definitely goosebump worthy. A chilling photograph taken at a historical site in East Tennessee has captured the attention of paranormal enthusiasts and history buffs alike. The image appears to depict a transparent apparition of an old woman wearing a plaid robe in the centre of the frame, while several glowing orbs are scattered throughout the picture. The uploader, a viewer of ours who goes by the username TNGirl195761, has confirmed that the photo is genuine and that they have no knowledge of using Photoshop. The historical sign where the photo was taken has a complex and painful past which includes the legacy of slavery. This has led many to speculate that the woman in the photograph could be a former slave who was returned to visit the home where she once served. The history of slavery in the United States is a dark and painful chapter in American history. Enslaved Africans were brought to the United States against their will and forced to work in brutal conditions, often without basic human rights or freedoms. Many were subjected to unspeakable acts of violence and cruelty and their lives were tragically cut short. Despite the abolition of slavery in the 19th century, its legacy continues to haunt American society to this day. From systemic racism and discrimination to the ongoing struggle for racial justice, the effects of slavery are still being felt in countless ways. The paranormal has long been associated with slavery and its aftermath. Many believe that the ghosts of former slaves continue to haunt the places where they once lived and worked, seeking justice and closure for the atrocities they endured. The glowing orbs in the photograph could be seen as a sign of this supernatural activity. While skeptics may argue that the photograph can be explained by natural phenomena, there's no denying the eerie feeling it evokes. The image serves as a haunting reminder of the painful history of slavery in America and the ongoing struggle for racial justice and equality. So what do you think of this ghostly image? Do you believe it could be a former slave seeking closure? Share your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. The Myrtles Plantation in Louisiana is infamous for its paranormal activity, with numerous reports of ghostly sightings and unexplained phenomena. Brandon and Taryn Hunt, visitors to the plantation, captured a spine-tingling video that seems to reveal the disembodied feet of up to three different figures. The plantation has a dark history, having been built on the site of a former Native American burial ground before becoming a slave plantation in the 18th century said that the spirits of those who suffered and died on the land continue to linger in the area, making it a hotspot for paranormal activity. The Hunts had no idea they had captured something unusual until they reviewed their footage the next day. The video shows what appears to be the ghostly feet of children, two of whom appear to be wearing white socks with black buckled shoes. 
The third figure pauses briefly and seems to look directly at the camera before walking off. The video has sparked considerable debate among paranormal enthusiasts. Some believe that the figures are indeed the ghostly remains of children who once lived and died at the plantation, while others speculate that the video could have been doctored or simply be an optical illusion. Despite the various interpretations of the video, one thing remains clear. The Myrtles Plantation continues to be a source of fascination and fear for those interested in the paranormal. As long as the ghosts and spirits that are said to haunt the area remain a mystery, visitors will continue to be captivated by the eerie atmosphere of this historic plantation. <laughs> Chloe is a well-known figure in the lore of the Myrtles Plantation, located in St. Francisville, Louisiana. According to the legend, Chloe was a slave who lived and worked on the plantation in the mid-19th century. As the story goes, Chloe was tasked with the job of caring for the plantation owner's children. But Chloe longed to be free, and one day she overheard the family discussing plans to sell some of the slaves. In a desperate attempt to avoid being sold, Chloe reportedly eavesdropped on a private conversation and was caught in the act. To punish her for her indiscretion, one of Chloe's ears was cut off, and she was forced to wear a green turban to cover the wound. After this, Chloe became the family's servant and she was said to have been frequently mistreated and abused. As the story goes, Chloe decided to take revenge on the family by poisoning their food with oleander leaves. However, the plan backfired when only a few members of the family became sick and Chloe was caught and hanged from a nearby tree. Today, many visitors to the Myrtles Plantation claim to have seen Chloe's ghost. Some report seeing her standing at the foot of their bed, while others claim to have seen her walking around the property. In the early 1990s, the owners of the Myrtle Plantation were photographing the property for a new fire insurance policy when they noticed something strange. In the walkway between the general store and the butler's pantry buildings, you can see a shadowy figure that no one's been quite able to explain. The figure appears to be a young girl which has led many to believe it's the ghost of Chloe herself. Researchers studied the photo carefully and concluded that it's not been doctored in any way. While skeptics may argue that the figure in the photo could be a trick of the light or a photographic error, believers in the paranormal consider it as evidence of Chloe's presence still lingering in the plantation. Whether you believe in Chloe's existence or not, the photo remains a haunting and enigmatic piece of evidence in the ongoing legend of the Myrtles Plantation. Digging with infamous tales that linger on the Myrtles Plantation, one of the more creepy urban legends is that of the Myrtles Cursed Mirror. Sarah Woodruff, the previous owner of the plantation, and her two daughters were allegedly poisoned by one of their slaves. The slave was said to be a practitioner of voodoo, and it's believed she trapped the spirits of the three women inside of the mirror. Today, visitors can tour the historic home and grounds of the Myrtles Plantation. Many of these visitors are reported seeing handprints or figures in historical clothing reflected in the allegedly cursed mirror. Some have even reported feeling cold spots or strange energy emanating from the mirror. The Myrtles Plantation has become a hotspot for ghost hunters and many have attempted to capture evidence of the mirror's paranormal activity. There have been reports of unexplained movements and sounds coming from the mirror, and some have even claimed to have seen the trapped spirits of the Woodruff women staring back at them. The cursed mirror has become a popular attraction for those who seek out the macabre and supernatural. Visitors can take guided tours of the plantation, which often includes a stop at the infamous mirror. Many have left with stories to tell of their own experiences and encounters with the spirits trapped inside the allegedly cursed mirror. Here's another haunting tale from Myrtle's Plantation. On August 8, 2021, the Lankin family of Lafayette, Louisiana took a ghost tour of the historic Myrtle's Plantation. The family explored the property and snapped some photos during the tour. They didn't see anything particularly spooky at the time, but what they discovered later that night in one of their photos sent chills down their spines. 
The photo in question was taken in the plantation's main living room and shows an eerie reflection in the mirror on the wall. Upon closer inspection, you can see what appears to be the disembodied head of a young girl in the reflection. However, there was no young girl present in the room with them at the time this photo was taken. The Lankin family did some research into the history of the plantation and discovered that a young girl by the name of Kate Winter used to live there. She was the daughter of William Drew Winter and tragically died of typhoid fever at the tender age of three. A painting of Kate Winter hangs in the main hall of the plantation. Comparing the photo of the disembodied head to the painting, there is a strange resemblance between the two. This discovery left the Lankin family wondering if the ghost of Kate Winter is still haunting the Myrtles plantation. While they didn't see anything supernatural during the tour, the chilling image they captured on film certainly made them question what else might be lurking in the historic home's halls. The Lankin family's experience adds to the already rich history of the Myrtles plantation, and raises the question of whether or not the ghost of young Kate Winter still calls the plantation home. It serves as a reminder that there's often more to historic homes than meets the eye, and that the past may not always be fully at rest. Before we take a look at an eerie discovery made at a historic slave cemetery, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and intriguing videos. In July 2022, an incredible discovery was made on an old rice and cotton plantation located near a historic slave cemetery. A Reddit user who goes by the name Rossi ONQ1 had been experiencing erosion on his property due to heavy rainfall. As a result, a ditch at the back of the property eroded, revealing what looked like a coffin-like box submerged in a pool of muddy water. Rossi ONQ1 uploaded several images of the discovery to the popular online forum prompting an immediate flurry of speculation about the origins of the box. One curious commenter claiming to be a former archaeologist advised that there were two critical steps to follow if human remains were discovered. The first step was to call local law enforcement to ensure that the remains were not connected to any modern cases. The second step was to call the local or state university and get in touch with the archaeology department. If it was deemed to be a historical site, it should be documented, mapped, and then either excavated or protected. Despite the advice, many were left to wonder about the origins of the coffin-like box. Could it be connected to the plantation's dark past and its history of slavery? Did it contain the remains of someone who lived or worked on the plantation long ago? The discovery raises important questions about the history of the plantation and the people who lived and worked there. While further investigation is needed to determine the origin and significance of the discovery, the mystery surrounding the coffin-like box has left many intrigued and eager to uncover the secrets that still lie buried beneath the ground. If you love mysterious videos like this one, then check out our other content. There's an episode there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist right there that'll keep you entertained. Now remember to follow us on all our other socials as well. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 